Okay, hey everyone! This is your daily reading for Monday. It's for everyone, every sign of the zodiac, anyone who's guided to see it. You could resonate with this reading. It's for this coming Monday, the 29th of May. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, weeklies are out there and monthlies are out there, okay? Spirit and they just all came out, so I hope you guys are enjoying them. Not everybody got a weekly reading this week because I was just so busy doing the big, big monthlies, okay? So enjoy. Anyway, Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about Monday? This coming Monday, the 29th of May. What do we need to know about? What do we need to focus on? What do we need to know? For anyone who's guided, this reading is for anyone who's guided to see it. Whenever they're guided to see it, it could resonate at a different time. My readings are predictive, so they more likely than not will resonate re later on down the line. If you don't know what this is, even more reason to pay close attention. It's a heads up, right? All right, multiple messages could come out during this reading right till the very last second, including multiple storylines, okay? I'm going to do one more shuffle for Monday, and we're going to get right into it. We're using the Vice version the tarot where the side we see is the side that I'll read whatever side lands on the table that we see also we're using um, the green witch tarot to uh, clarify and I forgot to pull out a deck and I'm going to right now reach over and get wisdom of the Oracle and pull some Oracle for our Monday okay what do we need to know real quickly Okay, we got no place like home, happy, happy, and a leg up. Wow. So here's the coolest thing about this. Um, we're, no place like home always reminds me of I'm trying to find my place in this world, right? I'm trying to find where, where my home is, where my soul tribe is, where I belong, right? And then we've got happy, happy, and a leg up, which is really, really cool. This makes me, look how cute a leg up is. Wow. Uh, so cute. This makes me feel like you're going to be very happy, happy about um, maybe a tip or someone will help you. Um, this could be about a housing move. This could be like, I, there's so many people moving this year. I've been saying it since last year. This is the year everybody's moving. And let me tell you, um, I have readings, personal readings coming in and everybody's moving. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I predicted would happen this year is happening. There's so, so many people moving. Um, so anyway, it is, but it, this isn't just about moving. This is about where do I belong at work? Where do I belong in my friendship groups? Where is my soul tribe? Where is my dot, 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 fill in the blank, right? This is where do I belong? You're going to feel so happy because there is help. There is assistance. There is someone who's going to be there for you in some way. Let's find out. These have to come completely out for me, these cards. What do we need to know? Because there's such a different uh, a different perspective on each side. Like, look, I love this. So this is the perspective of I can't budge, I can't move, I can't see, I don't know what's going on. I'm so in my head, I feel trapped. This is, I have everything I need to cut myself free from what once felt like a trap and I'm free. I'm not blindfolded. I can easily get out of this. The eagle signifies the freedom. The, the mountains in the background um, really do depict the, the struggle was real, right? Um, and, you know, right behind that at the bottom was the eight of cups as well. I'm leaving this struggle and these mountains behind. It's another eight, two eights. All right, let's keep going here. The happy happy is an eight as well. What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The wounded warrior, you know, the nine of wands, beaten and battered, bruised, but never ever backs down. Look at this. Spirit's like got your back. Your leg up's coming straight from spirit. Spirit's going to help you through the darkest part of the tunnels, through the last bit, through whatever you need to get through to get to the 10 and release this old cycle. So sorry, guys, I'm going to flip off this uh, ringer. Um, so, you know, this really is your leg up coming straight from the hand of spirit who steps in and helps you. Really, really great. So nice. Um, you know, 
really nice energy let's get a little bit more information here you got the eight you got the nine you're moving towards the ten here really nice fives mean change no place like home is a number five card what do we need to know here please the leg up is another number nine card no it's a seven i'm sorry my math <laughs> my math what do we need to know here please what's important way too many we just need one or two at a time one or two at a time what do we need to know what are the messages monday's reading for anyone who's guided to see it monday's reading so this release this um leaving behind what didn't feel comfortable that's what the no place like home is for me it's like a place where, like something whatever it is doesn't matter person place or thing it wasn't home for you and now you're in search of home and you're going to find it i really do believe you're coming to the end of this old cycle and heading into the new what do we need to know what do we need to know what's important yeah there we go another another eight another eight You've had the Eight of Cups, you've had the Eight of Swords, and now you have the Eight of Wands. Wow, this could happen um, quickly, suddenly. Um, this could be something where you just get inspired, you get information. Spirit could make sure you hear the right thing at the right time. You know, this really could be, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> High Priestess receiving that information straight from Spirit. Eight of Wands and High Priestess says to me, you're receiving information. Wow judgment as well look at these cards you got spirit stepping in in the nine of wands you have high priestess here and look at judgment it's like that awakening that epiphany that moment that it hits you whatever it is that you that spirit's sending to you that you need to know about what do we need to know here yeah okay and this is a good moment to reflect back on the past as well um, so we're reflecting back on this past. So see how this person's looking down at something like they're standing up in the balcony, looking down at the growth of these trees, right? Really seeing how far they've come, seeing what they can do to progress, um, seeing, looking back on the past a bit, feeling like I felt like that, but I'm moving into quickly. I mean, this is like, boom, I'm out of here. And it has something to do with releasing yourself from something. Could be from something or someone even. Um, could be anything, really. But it's like this epiphany of information that comes to you straight from the divine. You know, uh, spirit sticks their hand out and pulls you through the rest of that tunnel. Eight of Wands and the um, judgment here are like, this could happen very quickly, right? Very accelerated, you know. we ha Well wow really okay so um yeah this has something to do with taking a leap of faith in your foundation here with the full with the ten of pentacles with the um temperance and with the three of swords reverse this is like i'm going on a new journey and i'm leaving behind what was hard but spirit's got your back the whole time archangel michael right there right spirit's got your back archangel michael's right here it affects your foundation your home your family your your whatever your foundation is this is the three of swords but it's the side of the three of swords where you survived it see how this person's in their armor looking at what happened looking back on something right and seeing i actually survived this and seeing there's actually growth happening here even if you don't see it yet there's growth that will be happening here because you're being guided onto this new path onto this new journey that affects your foundation you could be dealing with a leo you have so much leo coming through um, and in this deck, the Temperance card really is a Leo card as well as Aries and Sagittarius. I just thought I'd mention that. I feel like you could be dealing with a Leo. There's a lot of Leo energy coming through. We have the Strength card. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. Um, you could be, you know, when I look at the King of Wands in the reverse here and the Leo, I feel like you could be, put, you know, you could have Leo in your chart. You could have Sagittarius in your chart, that's here as well, or even Aries. But what I really see is you having the strength to move away from something because Spirit's pulling you through it. You're not really trapped in it and you're going to look back and reflect on it and look at your growth. Okay, these are your trees here that are planted. And you know, when you look at the Three of Swords, there's been growth even through the pain. And what do we say? We say, thank you, Spirit, for the lessons because it's put me on the path I belong on right and this is what happens in our life you know uh you get these 
things that hurt, three of swords, really hurt. And then what happens? You realize you survived it. You realize you've grown from it. And guess what happens? You end up right on the right path to where you belong. This happens to people as long as they're putting in the time and the effort and the work. I mean, this just doesn't knock on your door. You know, I tell people this all the time. If you want to end up on a new path you got to put yourself on one like spirit will reach out their hand and help you but you already got to be a warrior right you've got to be a warrior to get to the place you belong to get to wh whatever it is that you're doing um i my favorite saying blessings aren't going to come knock on your door while you're sit sitting on the couch eating bonbons it's just never going to happen you're going to have to do something put in the effort face your fears maybe um move in this direction take the action i mean if you look this is a uh like i don't know what they call it kind of like a i don't know i don't want to say pegasus maybe it's a winged horse and then we've got the um you know very fast is what this is indicating fast right we've got the eagle of freedom you know this all happens because of you actually taking the steps and spirits got your back the whole way it's divine timing is about your journey and when you're ready to go on it right this uh, people sit around going i'm waiting for divine timing i'm waiting i'm waiting and i'm thinking well you better do something because spirit isn't just going to send blessings and do things for you if you're not doing something to show your intent right it's so so important that people understand this a tarot reading can show you everything that's at your disposal that you can have and you can do but it will not these cards can't do it for you you're going to have to do something about it you have to be you know that eagle you have to be that pegasus you have to be that warrior you have to get up and stand naked in your truth sometimes right with this judgment card here um and you have to connect to your spirit guides angels your higher self whatever you do to connect right to know what you need to do and reflect back on the past and make sure we don't make that mistake again right all right let's get into it we're going to grab a few clarity cards here and you know this is just a daily reading so we're just going to do a little clarity on the 8th of august the lionsgate portal is completely wide open this is an astrological and spiritual event that's happening where everybody can be standing just like this at that moment of that this is when we want to start making our intentions putting out our intentions start working towards our goals right when you're working towards your goals and you're preparing for that time frame that starts on i believe july 28th until about august 12th this time frame is crucially important to your goals your aspirations and you can have an, an accelerated ascension that happens during this time if you're doing your spiritual work as well this can happen everything's accelerated during this time and it's at its peak on august 8th so the portal starts to open in at the very end of july and then it starts to close in august after the 8th right but it's at its peak wide open on the 8th of august they call it the 88 portal anything you see that says the 88 portal is referring to this event that happens every year in the sign of leo on the date of 88 so i say to everyone whatever you want whatever you want to do whatever you want to accomplish whatever you want to be this is a great time to put your intentions out there to start working towards your goals okay all right let's get into it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading what do we need to know the the strength card is another eight card by the way thought i'd mention that okay let's eight 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 beautiful all right and it is the eight eight portal keep that in mind this is the number eight card in tarot all right it's a leo card the eight eight leo lion's portal okay it's all making sense right all right let's look at the nine of wands nine of wands yeah chariot reversed all right so you've felt like this stuck but guess what you're really not so remember this is that reality of you're not really stuck and spirit's going to help you get unstuck they're going to help you turn your chariot in the upright by pulling you through this rest of this portal here um 
I feel as though this really is a time where somebody has been going through something, maybe even going through an awakening. And this is like, uh, it almost feels like that last few steps. But let's see what else comes out because you're heading right into a brand new beginning, Ace of Pentacles here. Um, and it has to do with releasing the stuckness, I should say. And it's going to happen very quickly. Uh, like I said, it's almost like an epiphany or an awakening. And this might happen right at the end, 8 8 portal. All right, let's look at that Eight of Wands because you got. I think this stuff about the Eight Eight Portal is coming up because um, it's time to start putting your efforts in. It's funny how this shows up, the Seven of Pentacles. Time to start putting your efforts into that time frame. It is, you know, it is a way. It, it is what six weeks away. Well, it's actually no, because it's eight weeks away right so it's um because we're at may 28th today as i'm doing this reading for tomorrow right so um and this the 88 portal happens to op start opening in july so this is your time to prepare for this time frame right so i'd say you know this is spirit's way of saying getting moving on putting the efforts into the right areas that you want to see growth in seven of pentacles it's funny how that just kind of flew out as i was talking about this pa uh, page of chalices reversed okay so the page of chalices reversed for me could mean multiple different things but it could be new opportunities that have yet to come in it could be that you're not um it, it could be rejecting something or someone or them rejecting you in some way but it also feels to me like you have uh to me with the coming out with the high priestess like this it says to me that you're going to be receiving messages you haven't heard yet or spirits trying to get messages to you or um let me get another one on it. I want one more on this high priestess, please. Why is the high priestess here? King of Pentacles. Really nice. Okay, so this actually could be a job opportunity coming in or something that you um i feel like i feel i just want to look at the page of cups reverse why is the page of cups reversed here why yeah okay so here's the thing so you might be um you might be rejecting something from the past again i'm getting this because we have the past six of cups and we have the hierophant reverse this could really be something you're looking back on the past that was like um this feels to me um it really looks to me like you're intuitively realizing something about the past or you're not going to go back to the past or there's something about this. Um, now, this could be that a new offer coming in that takes you out of something you've been doing. I don't know why I'm feeling this energy. Um, again, the Lionsgate portal right there. This could actually be that you're dealing with a Leo as well. Let me look at the King of Pentacles. Why is King of Pentacles involved here? This almost feels like a job offer, but it's not. Like, if there's two offers, don't go back to the past is what I feel. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the King of Pentacles? Yeah absolutely so we have um the seven of chalices there's a choice in front of you the choice really has to do with the three of wands then see this is somebody's ship showing up like your ship shows up for you but something about leaving or not engaging with someone from the past i feel like there's a person from the past whose page of chalices and high priest reversed for you this is like um someone who's not genuine or doesn't have your highest good in in store there's something here about it this person could have strong pisces or you could i want to look at this one no, actually this could be cancer for me as well um let me look at this um what is the three of wands what is it the three of wands this is like something you really want this could be a job opportunity coming in that you waited for you didn't have 
Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. All right, so this is really nice, you guys. This really has a lot to do with um, something that you've wanted, something you might have. Um, there's going to be a choice here. There really is. I feel like the choice is really going to be something or someone from the past or something or someone new. And the opportunity for new is where your success is. Why is judgment here? Okay. Seven of swords. All right. So, you know, be careful because there could be this person that's not genuine trying to come in from the past. Let me look at the judgment, seven of swords, and look at how the seven of swords is looking right at the six of cups. And so is, so is judgment. Judgment, seven of swords, both looking right over at the past. Something about, I swear this is a person from the past, very immature possibly. Tell me about the seven of athems here with the judgment card. Queen of Swords. Um, this really could have something to do with seeing something clearly, really feeling very focused, really receiving the information. Tell me about Judgment one more time. And the Seven of Swords. Two of Wands. Absolutely. This two of wands came out as a challenge. Which way am I going to go in a situation? Where am I going to go? And the world tree right there. Until you make a firm decision, see something clearly and choose your path, the world stays in reverse. Okay. Which is okay. You know, it just means you're not quite complete the cycle. There's unfinished business. Um, this cycle will be complete. Remember what we talked about in the beginning, eight, 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 eight everywhere, and then nine and 10, right? So like there needs to be, the completion happens when you choose a new path. So I've been trying to tell people this. In fact, one of the readings this week, I wanna say it was a weekly reading, really talked about, and I don't care what zodiac sign this is. If you feel like it's yours, I would go watch it. But it really has to do with not waiting for the new cycle to change, but causing the new cycle to change. So in other words, a lot of people think you just stay like this, la, 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 and wait for, you know, the action to happen. But the truth is, until you actually take the action, the cycle stays stuck. And this is something spirit's trying to pull you into the new cycle by causing movement for you, right? So this movement for you has to do with investing in something, moving into a specific area. I feel like there's someone from the past that has to be let go of. I really do. I feel like they're very immature. I feel like you care about them, but I feel like your opportunities of advancement queen, queen of pentacles king of pentacles knight of pentacles this is just showing us that when you release this person abundance follows okay and choosing this direction and seeing it clearly and you know this could be a job this could be a friend this could be a love it doesn't have to be anything or anyone particular um you know it doesn't have to be a love is what i'm saying it could be something else it could be your friends group it could be your uh, childhood friends, they're very immature and they bring you down. And, you know, you have these aspirations and ambitions that you're trying to build on and you can't get them with young, immature energy, you know, feeding off of your ambitions and aspirations, right? Um, the thing is really, there's some place that spirit's trying to guide you. Now, this doesn't have to be a move or anything like that, but it's when I say some place, the place that you feel at home, the direction that they're telling you to get clear on so that you can move away from anything that isn't in your highest good really has to do with, um, allowing the old cycle to close out. I feel like someone tries to keep you stuck in the old cycle. I feel like this is a, like an actual person that doesn't want to let you go because you're going to thrive and you're going to move up in the world when you leave them behind. Um, and they're showing up as immature. Let me look at the um, six of cups. What about the six of cups here? You know, and if it's a job or something, then it's just not the right one for you. Um, this is the nine of wands and this is the tower. 
Okay, so this is the wounded warrior, um, the tower, right? This is the thing that you're focused on. Um, you know, look, when you look back at the past, you're like, I'm not doing that again. And that is lesson learned, right? We reflect on the things that put us into the wounded warrior energy. Another nine card, by the way. And it's the same one that came out up here that spirit's helping you get through, right? So spirit says, you know, take a look at the past and make sure that you don't repeat it, right? And sometimes I hate to say it, but this, I feel like the seven of swords energy right here is your very own energy of you waking up, staying quiet and choosing a new direction quietly. Like you're going on this journey and you're not going to say anything. Why? Because you don't want to take the past with you and you're about to blow it up. So this is when I say this lovingly, when we implode what we're leaving behind so it doesn't come back again right so every now and then you know you have to really um you, there's certain people in the world that you can't take with you if you want to be in this energy king of pentacles queen of pentacles uh knight of pentacles this is all a high vibration of someone who is heading into abundance right if you want to choose the ship that's going to pull up at the dock for you. You're going to have to release this person or these people from the past. Whatever this is in the past that isn't right for you. It's not the right thing. And Spirit's been telling you this. And choose your path. And you might have to because this is such an immature energy. Um, and this, you know, could even be like a sneaky shady energy. I'm not sure what you're dealing with here. But Spirit says, you know it's it's if you want to graduate being the wounded warrior and reflecting on the path and want to see reflecting on the past and see this growth come in for you you might have to implode it um and this is you know just something that happens sometimes i mean sometimes we've got to you know metaphorically light the match and throw it behind us as we walk away and it's not for any other reason then we can't take them with us because they are just going to bring us down, whatever it is. You will know this because intuitively you already know this. I feel like you already have been feeling like this. You know it's not where you're supposed to be or whatever you're doing isn't what... Whoever you're with, whatever you're doing, it's going to be different for each of you, right? But whatever it is, it's time to boom you know leave that past well well in the past so that you can move on as the wounded warrior the wounded warrior never ever ever gets gives up but they do get stuck sometimes and this is the thing spirits trying to unstick you right and we see that here and we see it here and we see it here all of this is go, 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 go. Put your efforts into the pentacles. Put, look, put your efforts in the pentacles. Why? Because it's your ship. It's the thing that's coming in for you that's going to leave you in this state of abundance. But not everybody can come with you. All right. I hope this makes sense to somebody. This is probably the longest daily reading we've ever had. I'll try to cut it back.